Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm recording this video because um, I just saw the premiere. I'm a few days late, but I just saw the premiere of um, I Am Kate. Well, season two, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about that and some stuff I've been seeing on social media about it. And um, I was gonna record this earlier during the day when it was nice and sunny, but I'm trying to look at myself and it looks all right. The lighting's not that bad. I kind of set up some good lighting and um, I set up in my living room, my parents' living room. So I have to stop looking at that because I'm just making sure I look okay, which I do. <laughs> okay, so yeah, first thing I want to say, actually, I have a few things to say beforehand. I got myself a new iPhone. I was on Android. Oh my God, you guys trip out at my picture. I put as my, um, my lock screen. It's a picture of me. It looks like, oh, there you go. <laughs> It's just a cute picture of me and my um, non-lock screen this is me and my nephew. You can't see it. Anyway, that's just that. I, I love this phone except the camera, like the selfie camera. Like, I feel like the camera's like too close. Here, I'll take a selfie right now. And it takes like the picture like all close up. I don't like that. Like, I feel like it's all like, up in my business. And my Android had like a... <laughs> my Android had like a <clears throat> like a beauty filter and it made you look all cute um, I know there's some beauty filters on there but I have to like edit the pictures that are just being ready to post it which is not cute but enough of that one more thing I wanted to talk about was I've been watching today I, I was cleaning my living room and I um, was watching um, Mob Wives and I was watching the right now I just watched the, the last the you know the series finale and um, I was watching the, <clears throat> hold on, it's on here, I'm watching it right now, so I, I can figure out the name, Larger Than Life, Big Ash Larger Than Life, okay, I'm not going to play it because my remote's being lame, but it's that special they did after the show, and I don't know if that's a shadow or if it's my hair, I'm going to stop looking at that. For reals. Stop looking at them. I'm going to exit it out. I'm going to lower it because I keep looking at it. And like, it just distracts me a lot. There. I can't see it anymore. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm watching it and I'm getting like all emotional because there's this like little section or this a clip where she says, um, she's like, the guy's telling her she needs to have like a, I think it's a biopsy. And she's like, I'd rather just die. And like, and there's other scenes where she's like, really emotional she's like I don't want to bother people with my disease and it's just like so sad because she actually passed away so that's so sad I don't know if you guys were fans of Big Ange I'm like a big fan, fan of reality shows so she was a one of the big staples in the reality world so yeah but yeah back to I am Kate so I was watching this uh, week's episode on Sunday came out I didn't get to watch it till like yesterday and I was gonna record this video yesterday but um that's a whole other story. The electricity went, went out of my house, in my house, and it didn't come back for a while, so I couldn't really record. I was deal with, dealing with that. But I am recording it now, and um, it is Wednesday night, <clears throat> and yeah, I get sidetracked so easily. So I'm going to talk about the episode, and then I'll probably sidetrack a little bit on other issues, but starting with that, I am Kate. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it. If you did, um, comment below and let me know what you thought about it. If you have not seen it and you are going to watch it, then there's not really any spoilers, but just don't watch this video. Then. Okay, so one of the things they, they talked about was they were trying to kind of discuss politics with her and she was, you know, stuck on, um, on her republic, I think it was Republican, Repu I'm not really political, so I'm not, I don't want to get confused, but I think it's Republican. Um, how she's she's always been a Republican, even back in she was Bruce, and she was saying she was you're not gonna like she was uh, saying that you're not gonna change just because you switch you know you're living your life as a woman now you're not gonna change your views, and and not everybody's the same like I've changed a lot of my views not political wise but in other senses I've changed a lot of my views political wise I'm kind of like 
I feel like I'm like liberal or something. I don't even know. I kind of just go for what my mom tells me to do. But I've been watching the elections this this uh, coming time, so I'm paying a lot more attention of, on, uh, to, to the politics. But I can't talk politics because I'm not an expert at it. I just kind of like sit on the sidelines and, and see. But I know that it affects everybody and it affects me, obviously, um, because there are a lot of laws that have been passed that protect me and um, as a transgender person. So, yeah, so back to Kate. <laughs> they went on this little bus trip and, um, not bus, an RV, whatever. And they were just kind of trying to talk to her and she was saying she was open to dating um, men. So, um, I mean, I'm not glad that she's, I mean, I'm not, like, I'm glad she's, you know, speaking out about it, but a lot of people were curious about it, which, I mean, at the end of the day, that's only her business, but I mean, she is on TV, so people are always going to be curious about that. Um, I've always known that I liked men, so that's not a problem for me. But she was married to a woman, you know, women prior to her transition. But um, another topic that they were talking about was, um, there was not necessarily a topic that, well, I, it was in like in the previews and then I think they talked about a little bit um, and, I, and I saw a lot of comments on social media and some of them were my own friends saying that she's not a good representation for the um, a transgender community, not a good representation for the LGBT community, but like that's not, to me, I don't feel like, the only reason that she's being, it's being said is because she's famous and she has her own show. And I don't think that her point is to to represent every trans person. I think like myself making my videos and all that is I'm not trying to represent transgender people. I'm trying to represent myself as a transgender person, which is what she's trying to do. And people bash her saying like, oh, you don't know what it is. You come from privilege. That's not her fault. She worked hard as an Olympian um, to get to where she is. So people bashing her saying that, oh, you know, it's you're giving false hope to other trans, you know, women or men, um, you know, because she was able to transition a lot faster than a lot of us, including myself. Um, I'm going on two years. Next month will be my two-year mark. And I, all I've been on is hormones, and I haven't got my, I haven't done any, elect, you know, um, hair removal. I haven't gotten, you know, breast implants. I haven't had anything else, uh, you know, down, downstairs surgery. And that's because of my financial situation. I'm not, you know, I don't have that kind of money. Um, and she does. And people bashing her because she does, it's like, you know, I know there was a couple of, uh, like last season when they were telling her, like, oh, that some other girls had to prostitute themselves, like, because they couldn't find jobs. Well, that's, that's their life. That's their truth. And I feel like they want her to, like, you know, live that. And I think she understands that, but people kind of just bash her. And a lot of people that I've seen, a lot of the comments say um, that she's a bad representation for the LGBT community. Not LGBT community, uh, trans community. And I don't think she is. I think she represents herself as a trans woman and she's living her life um, as well as a lot of other trans women. I can't put myself out there and say, I'm representing all trans women because I'm not. Like, sometimes I wake, like, you know, in the morning I have like facial hair, not all trans women do. There's not one mold of a trans woman. Just like cisgender women, um, we're all different and we all, you know, come up different in life. Some women come up privileged, some don't come up privileged and I'm not one of person to come up like super privileged. I mean, I don't have my, like all kinds of money. And now I'm trying to see myself again. Okay. I just keep looking at it. I don't see how long it is. Nine minutes, so. Um, that's kind of just what I wanted to talk about. I mean, there wasn't much to talk about. It was a good episode, I feel. I feel like the season's gonna be good. Um, do you guys watch it? Uh, let me know if you do or you don't. What you like about it. What do you think about those comments that people are saying about her representing the transgender community in the, you know, in a bad way? Um, I don't think she's giving trans people a bad name. I've seen other trans women, in my opinion, that give trans women a bad name. I don't want to say any names because some of them are like, kind of like famous and some of them like I know and I don't, they're not my friends but like we've talked before so I don't want to put any negative comments out there about them but um, there's just, I don't know, I don't want to, I just 
because I want to get into that, but there are a lot of some uh, trans women that I feel that give trans women a bad name, and I want to start doing more videos and getting into because that was the main uh, reason for doing this channel was to get pe inform people a little more on transgender people and um, I feel like it's getting a lot better you know um, with a lot of other youtubers that are out there um, if you guys see any other people any people you might suggest I mean the ones that I watch now that don't necessarily talk about their transition the only one that I watch all the time that talks about her transition mostly is um, Nicole Ramos um, then there's the beauty girls like you know Julie Vu and then there's um, Gigi and they're mostly about their beauty stuff so that's cool too though because they give me really good tips and my hair looks like a mess okay guys so I like actually I have black hair but I don't know if you can tell I actually dyed my hair black because I'm <clears throat> I'm gonna get my bristling blowout and I'm getting some extensions put in but I ordered them in like jet black and my hair was kind of like a natural black and I feel like it's going lighter and like sometimes I would see brown on top like a like a bronze color and like my hair is not black anymore so and I found so many gray hair now that I do my hair like when I would do my hair I would find all this gray hair so since I'm gonna get my hair done, um, I have an appointment on my birthday, <laughs> so I'm gonna get my hair done. So it's gonna get the brizzly and blow out so it's not frizzy, and then I'm gonna get my extensions put in so it's gonna be cute and long and the same color everywhere <clears throat> instead of like brown and black. So yeah, but I mean I can only tell sometimes. That I can tell now in the, in the camera because it looks so black and slick and shiny. But I have extensions in right now. I put in a some trucks. My hair is like up to here and then this is like for length and volume. But yeah, I looked really cute today and I wore this pendant. I don't know where, I think I stole it from one of my sisters, I think. Or maybe my friend Lala gave it to me. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to start trying to make more videos. I saw this video on this, uh, the guy that created the Rocky Horror Picture Show or produced it or something. I need to look more into the story because I want to read it and talk about it because I think that that's an issue that is part of the trans community and blah 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 <clears throat> so this video is a good like now <laughs> and i don't think i talked too much about it. i'm kate i just kind of brought up that point because that was the main point that i want to bring up is people saying people that are not transgender saying that the, that she's not a good representation for the lgbt or transgender community i think that maybe they see it as she is kind of like because of the fact that she's Republican and she wants to vote for a Republican president and they have these views against, you know, the LGBT community. I think that, um, I think that there's people, people just see it as bad and they want to bash her and say she's representing the LGBT bad. I've seen that she's saying they're saying she represents the LGBT bad, that she doesn't back up the LGBT and not even, not to like, be like, kind of like, throwing daggers at anybody but in my experience and sometimes even personally but I've seen it amongst other trans women including myself a few times where <clears throat> a lot of the LGBT community a lot of gay guys like are really mean and rude to trans women and um I don't like that and um and it's not every gay guy but there's a few that um, have been not so nice or have not said nice things to me personally and to other trans women that I've personally seen. So, not and that that's an excuse, whatever people are saying about about Caitlyn, but it goes both ways. You know, there's not not everybody's gonna see eye to eye, but it's kind of like it kind of gets me a little upset seeing the actual like LGBT community bashing her instead of I see that the girls that she's you know film with her are trying to help her and and kind of. <laughs> kind of guide her to to see see things a little clearer maybe but the way people come at her is like they bash her and so then they go on her on Caitlyn's page when she posts a picture and I'll comment like oh my god you look so hot and um people are so rude on there too I'm like why do you follow her or why do you like you know follow her Facebook page or her Instagram or Okay, first of all, why do you follow her and talk shit? Second, if you don't follow her and go and talk shit, like, why would you take time out of your day to go to her page and go comment on her picture? Uh, okay, that's another that's another video. But, um, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope it's just kind of... I just kind of wanted to talk about that topic. So, um, 
just a little bit I touched on it I know I I didn't talk a lot about it but I hope that it's kind of I don't know I don't know I hope I hope it reached you somehow <laughs> um, but uh, and I, in case somebody anybody asks me what lipstick I'm wearing um, I don't know where I put it but it's the um, the one that comes with the because my birthday this month on the 29th and um, this is the birth the Sephora birthday lipstick that came with by Michael Kors I think it was Michael Kors but yeah um, thank you guys for watching <laughs> I hope this wasn't too boring and I hope it kind of like you guys liked watching it yeah <laughs> so okay don't forget to follow me on social media my Twitter is badgirlangie805 my Instagram is badgirlangie and my Snapchat is sellme805. I was gonna change my Snapchat to Better Girl Angie, but I have so many followers on there now that I feel like there's no point in changing it. Um, I don't know. People, somebody, like, I don't know. People always like, oh, but your name's not Sell Me anymore. I'm like, it's not, but I don't care. <laughs> it's just don't call me Sell Me. Just, you know, whatever. Besides the point. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Make sure that you tag your friends about my channel and comment below on on the topics that I talked about. I love. I'm trying to interact more with you guys. Um, this it's easier for me to interact. I'm trying to clip my clip back on my extension, <laughs> but I, I got my laptop working better again, so I can comment back to you guys. And I'll be you know using my new iPhone to comment back. So let's start a discussion. And um, yeah, love you guys. And don't forget to subscribe.